here okay it was a it was good morning easy. wake up to lots of rain and a bit of a thunderstorm yeah we do <laughs> i don't know where we're gonna go today we'll just jump on the road and see where we end up i think what do you think i'm guessing the first place we're going to go is yep. heritage pies and pastries for a coffee for you yeah, and i haven't had a coffee this morning so it's going to be really nice so i think that's the first thing we're going to do you need to go open the gate though oh okay <laughs> We're in Strathalbyn now, and literally you should have seen Chris's face. He's like, oh, look at that building, oh, look at that church, oh, look at that park. Oh my goodness, this place is amazing. So I think, hopefully, we'll go for a bit of a wander. It's not raining full on, it's kind of drizzling. Um, but the park just over there is next level. You are a little bit in awe, aren't you? Oh, no, I just love these little towns that are just so beautiful, the architecture. They have pride, don't they? Then you go back to Logan in Brisbane, and it's just like... I love the SA architecture. See, look, it reminds me of Tassie, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a lot like Tassie. Like, are they called cobblestone? Is it stone? Whatever it is. Yeah. I don't know. It's awesome. But it's not rendered. <laughs> no, it's not Besser Block rendered. <laughs> Rotunda. Huh? You're in the rotunda watching, I'm watching, these, watching a show. These cockatoos, watch them, they just keep falling and swinging on them. Then they use their beaks to try and get them back up. It's hilarious. Do they twist back up? Look, see? They're like gymnasts. Do you reckon they're considered a pest here? Look at them. Look at them in the big tree over there in the distance. They're all hanging upside down. They're just... <laughs> oh, wow. It's so loud. You know something I miss? Roses like oh, that. Yeah. Oh, so pretty. They're beautiful. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful rose garden. Off they go. Oh, the rain's getting a little bit heavier. The camera is getting kind of wet. I chose today to wear glasses because I didn't have to wear sunglasses. Give my eyes a break for my contact lenses. And they're getting all wet too. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the little tour of this park here in Strathalbyn. It's very pretty, it's very noisy, and today it's very wet. So that was beautiful Strathalbyn, or the park of the beautiful Strathalbyn, and now we are driving somewhere we don't know where yet. I think possibly we might try and get to Robe while yeah. the rain is falling, because it's pretty good driving weather, but not really good for sightseeing, is it? No, not really. We might just hightail to Robe, I don't know, we'll see. We will see, but I've had enough of getting wet and looking at old buildings and parks and flowers. <laughs> it's funny, every time I look at this sort of stuff like parks and that, all I'm seeing is places to hit my mountain bike on my one wheel or something, so I'm not really looking at the flowers. And all that He's making stuff. excuses. He loves the flowers. He loves the birds. He loves the trees. <laughs> he loves the old buildings. 
Change of plans. We just um, got a notification email saying that our Australia Post delivery has turned up. Now this is a very special delivery, so we unhitched, unhitched the van in Murray Bridge, and we head back to Victor Harbour quickly to pick it up, and then race back, pick the van up again, and then head to road. So plans change in an instant. What it just didn't feel like towing the van 200 kilometres there and back from Victor. So easy. Happy days, let's go. Do an update on where we are now. We're actually finally heading to Rove. We went back and we picked up our packages. It turned out only half of what we needed was there. So <laughs> it was kind of a pointless trip anyway. Um, we should be in Rove in about two hours. So Chris is really excited to be spending all his time driving. It'll be about yeah. six hours today. Mm. So oh, awesome loving roads. it. And these roads are, well, let's just say South Australia, you could improve on your roads. I don't know if you can see out the window there, but that is Lake Alexandrina. Hey. Huh? I think I finally found my match. Your match? Yeah. Oh. I reckon it's bigger? It's just a little. His ties are a bit bigger. Finally met my match, eh? I found his family. <laughs> low-carb curried sausages yeah a little bit of an update we've been in robe for a couple of days but the weather's been pretty average so we've just been in the van um, working the sun is now shining I think today and tomorrow so we're gonna head out and do some exploring righto we have a beautiful day in robe we've actually got two beautiful days haven't we I thought it was beautiful, but we came over this side. It's freezing cold, actually. Yeah, it's actually weird. It's like, like I all... have goosebumps everywhere, and it's like a big ocean mist. Or yeah, it's it's actually weird. But then if we turn around this side, it's actually stunning day. Not a cloud in the sky. So that it's a bit of an eerie type feeling, I think, isn't it? It's you can't see far out there because of whatever that is that's settled down. Unless it's just like a, the salt air or I, I don't know. I, yeah, we got up this morning and there was a lot of fog. So I'm assuming that is it. It still hasn't lifted out off the ocean and maybe there's moisture still coming up, but. It was warm at the caravan and basically sunny and here it's kind of cool and not, anyway. It's anyway, trying anyway, to explain what it is. We're gonna go explore this place, show you a few little things around here. And we definitely want to go for snorkel here, but the visibility is actually crap so we might go to a different place and, and check we're out. We're just gonna have a look around and see what there is. There are uh, different beaches and different kind of covey areas where you can do different things like there's somewhere you can surf a bit further down where you can drive on the beach. There's places where you can put your sup in, there's places you can snorkel. Oh put the sup in did you say? Put the sup in yeah. <laughs> we'll show you a little something cool <laughs> later on today yeah. but there's a little beach there. Yeah anyway we're gonna go for an explore and, and see what is actually around this place. We've only got two days uh, because the weather is actually turning lousy and we did hear that there's a crayfish festival happening at South End? Beachport. Oh, Was it? Beachport or South End? I can't remember. I can't remember but I think we should take you along to that as well because I think it's going to be really cool. We have a little map of Robe. So we're here. We're going to walk up to the obelisk up here and I do believe Sup's here and surfing down here. Maybe. Go for a wander? Yeah. Obelisk, do you want to read about it? No. Okay, well, that's it was built there. in 1855. <laughs> that's all I know. 1855, 
by local builder George Sheebus at a cost of £230 and it was to warn the ships. And you can't walk out there anymore, I guess, because the cliffs are really Well, unstable. I don't think you've been able to walk out there for a while. Yeah. See this? Look at these people here. Look at them. They've gone where you're not supposed to. It's clearly taped. It's clearly dangerous. Everywhere. <laughs> look. There's signs everywhere. There's fence. They've put bunting up everywhere. And look, there we go. They're going over the bunting. Under. Or under the bunting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. doing some um, snorkeling today but the clarity is really average hey yeah you can't you can't really well, you, can't, really you can't see the bottom <laughs> we might come back tomorrow or maybe later or this afternoon. maybe down there further yeah or maybe around but you just won't have all this so it'll we'll just go back to the normal beach so we might wait till this afternoon and check it out again or come back tomorrow maybe you're gonna be long I'm going to be a while. Are you going to be long? Yeah. What are you doing? Filming for the reel. What reel? <laughs> These people aren't going to see the reel, are they? She never stops. You going to be long? Well, I'm in the car now, so... Where are we going to go next? Um, over there, to those beaches. You can go to that one where you can drive on the beach and see all the cars on the beach over there. So, wow. You want to go down there? And we'll get your new toy out. Yep, I think that's good. Not even really open yet. Well, <gasps> this is my stand-up paddleboard. It's an eye rocker. It's awesome, and it's got its own bag with wheels. What you doing? And straps. Showing off my new toy. Oh wow! Mine's but, not here yet, but it will be here in a few days. So nan and nan, yeah. it's gonna be a stand-up off, babe. Yeah. Well, we know he's gonna win. Not me. Anyway, I'm going to open it and show you what's inside. So Miriam's got a new toy and she wants me to film her. Do you, want, do you want me to film you? Yeah. She wants me to film I her, film showing off and opening the whole thing and doing all the stuff. It's actually the first time she's ever done it. So, well, I do this myself, is actually going to be fun. But I can't film myself. Alright, come opening on. Opening it up. Come on. So, come along. Do you think it's going to be funny? Actually, probably is going to be funny. What's going to be funny? Me trying to do this. Oh, okay, so show me what what do we got inside here? So this bag is so explain to me. packed full of everything. So when you purchase your iRocker paddleboard, you can select from a bunch of extras and about ten thousand different extras. This, this bag is full of extras. So this is a waterproof bag that you can strap down to your sup. But before I get it all out, I'm going to suggest if you buy one that you get this extra, which is a mat that you can put down on the ground, and it comes with. Well, what's the mat for? Sand pegs, so that when you unpack everything and you put it all down, it doesn't have to go into the sand. Or when you get it out of the water and yeah. the boards are all wet, you're not going to get it all dirty when you've got to pack it up, hey? So this is where he thinks it's going to be funny, watching me do this by myself. Okay, go for it. Now, I don't have a hammer or anything, so if it doesn't push in, then we're in trouble. But I think it's going to be fine. Mm. So you did it! Hasn't blown away yet. Uh, what's what else is in there? Okay, so this is my waterproof bag. Right, which does what? Put stuff in it that I strap to the stand up. If I fall off, which I probably will, it will be fine. <laughs> this is my little pump. So this is a manual inflation pump. This is to hold my fishing rods. Rod? There's only one there. Rod. That's a repair kit. 
Yep, yeah, spares repair kit. Good when I break it. That's an anchor? I don't actually know that, it's just heavy, so I'm guessing that. Yeah, that's an anchor, yep. If you want to find a cool snorkeling or fishing spot, anchor up and go diving. This is what I think is really cool because it it turns into a kayak. So you can sit down. You can sit down and cruise. You can see why this whole thing was... And my board that's coming, you can put two on there. Two, two people on it. Yeah, his is a two up. So that's the pipe. That's when you want to For the pump it, yep. This so mean. Comes with a paddle that matches the colour of my board. And it pump. comes with another paddle too. Oh. For turning the paddle into a kayak paddle. Uh, should there be another one of those? Yep, there will be somewhere in there. You want to get the board out? Yep. Okay, so now you can put all that stuff back in the bag. Yeah, I'll put all that back in there so I can open this out. This yep. was just to show you what it was. And I'm not going to need that. And we're not going to need the pump either because we've got an electric pump. For that now, was another option that we got for it. Yeah. Wow. That is pretty cool, isn't it? Do you want me to... I'm going to get the pump out now. Please, can you so pump it up? Do you want to film up? me get the pump out? Yes. So excited. Pump time. One a pump. One a hose. It's a 12 volt pump. This Just is the okay. old cigarette lighter. And you do get another adapter so you can put, you know, that you like your alligator clips to, um, onto a battery. Oh, I'm just gonna come around this side, so excuse me. This is also an optional. What is? An optional extra when you purchase, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. Inflate and a deflate. So, inflate. Inflation point? Yep. Deflation. And then you just put it him into here. Turn it. And that's it. We're good to go. So, we can do it on auto. So, it says 14 to 18 psi. We've set it at 15, then press auto. So, it tells you there. And she's going. How rad are they? So good. Are you going to put a little link? Yes. We'll throw a little link in the video. We'll throw a little link there, you reckon? Right I don't know. Right next to the board. Somewhere in there. Probably down here. Okay. Will be where you can go to grab one of these. But these things are, well. They're insane. There's so many of them out on the market, but these are top, top quality. And you're going to pay more for them, obviously, but... Do you want to go and show the one accessory that you took out of my bag and put into the truck that I think is really oh. cool? Yep. A speaker. Full waterproof speaker. As in under the water. That is in, yeah. And it just goes onto the board with GoPro mounts. There's GoPro mounts everywhere. There's all types of There's mounts. There's all different mounts. There's even a suction mount that Chris has stuck up there. So this will go here. And we you can, can, you can download there. music to it. So it's Do you like... reckon we should actually put this on now if you're going to go in for the first time? Oh, what does that mean? That's second stage of pumping. It does a first stage, then it'll do a second stage where I think it just throw, pumps harder. Okay, well, I'm not going to talk while that's making a noise. What? I suppose I can. What? So you can put music directly on here or Bluetooth it from your phone. You can so store it on there, yeah. I actually put music on there. Yeah. So we can turn it on. I'm going to be doing these ones. Are oh, you on a hold it, babe? I'm fine. So you've pumped it all up. You've just got to put your fins in now. Yeah. So I've not done this before. Put that in. Then and I push lift, down. Lift that up. No, not, don't lift it all the way. No, push it in. That's it. That's it, push it in, lock it in. Now push the lever and then down. Push it down and it locks it in. That's it. All now right. I've got three fins. Right, oh, no. you want to put it back down? Oh. Oh, you're calling someone. It's going through on Bluetooth. Oh, my phone's ringing. <laughs> so your phone rings on the speaker. Yeah. Are you pumped about your new setup? Uh, uh, pumped as in pumped. Or pumped as in am I All right, so what are you going to do now? Are you just going to paddle with your hands or are you going to. Mm, that probably would help. Do you know how that works? No, I'm gonna have to show you, aren't I? Make me figure it 
Now that one's a little tricky. No, 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 no. Pull it out. So you've got, if you turn it around, so you've got that, so you've got to pull that clamp out. That's it. Push it out. Push it all the way out. And you'll see, um, the, see the two pins, so it locates. Yeah, so that goes... See that locator? That goes that way. Yep, and it'll go in. And I'm short, so I'm assuming I need it all the way Put it out. down the lowest one. Yeah. So you do the clip in now till it... And then pull it up and down till it clicks in. That's it. Done. That's it. You are good to go. You're a rocker, eh? You are I'm rock. I'm a high rocker. Oh, the water's nice and warm, honey. Water's freezing. I can't wait till you go in. <laughs> Because you're going to. So best bet would probably get out past the break and go on your knees. Now see where your handle is? That's going to be about where you want to stand. Central on the board. Alright, have fun! Now you're being a pansy, what have you done now? Hey, I'm not being a pansy, I'm trying new things. Oh, so you put the seat in now? I've turned it into a tire. Alright, alright, go have fun. I think <laughs> you're in here making your coffee, aren't you? What are the plans for today? What are you watching? <laughs> Is that my phone? Duramax drugs. Did you see it? Look, <laughs> you're a hillbilly, eh? This is what shows up on our um, Instagram feed. <laughs> Why? If you follow Duramax drugs. <laughs> That's what we'll be doing today if we don't get out of here. Yes. Mud. So the weather today is meant to rain all day today and it's meant to rain again tomorrow. Oh, rain, whatever. So we are packing up and we're eager to stop that. Stop. So we're going it's to... It's not going to rain all day, you drama queen. We're going to head off and find a... Well, free camp somewhere. Mm, yep. And then tomorrow... <laughs> <laughs> but the problem is, it's the weekend. Is the uh, crayfish festival and the crayfish festivals on tomorrow? That's what we're doing. We're so going to go to the as we festival. found out, one we got here. So yeah, so that it, could be a problem. It might be busy, but anyway, we're going to go and try yeah. our luck finding somewhere. Yeah. No. Did you just wipe your sneeze boogers on with a hand towel? I didn't have sneeze boogers, dude. I don't have boogers. No, never. This guy, can you leave me alone? I want to just freaking drink my coffee. <laughs> it's becoming a very bad habit where we pack up to move and we haven't shown you where we've stayed. So I'm gonna go to the toilet. Chris is getting very ready to go. So I'm gonna go to the toilet. I'm gonna give you a quick little squeeze uh, around the park. Not the whole park because the park is massive. We're just kind of up the back section and the lake is directly behind us. So there's a path right behind us. I can see the sign from here that takes you to the lake. So I'm just gonna show you this area quickly. So that's the path there that takes you to the lake, which is over there. Here is the grassy area. I don't know if you can see or not, but it is actually starting to rain. So we take you over this way. You see the jumping pillow is starting to inflate and reception is there. That is where we are camped up. And my suggestion to you, if you're like us and don't have children and don't really like loud children, it's not that I don't like kids, I just don't like loud kids all the time, don't go near the jumping pillow because we 
anyway just that's my advice don't park near the jumping pillow if you don't like the sound of loud children I think there's a line that's possibly the dump point don't know we don't use the dump point um there's more caravans or campsites up there and over behind those trees over there there's heaps more as well coming over this way we have the humongous camp kitchen bit of an overview here so you can see there's washing machines in the corner over there huge kitchen books and games for the kids and a tv and a tin roof so you can hear the rain leaving the kitchen and walking along here back again more campsites we have the toilets so these are actually really cool because you get your own cubicle turn the light off when you're finished and some of them have a shower oh that was your quick little tour of the rope holiday park around the back section hope you liked it just wanted to point out we've actually been here for four nights and yesterday was amazing we spent the day what? at the beach what you can join in the conversation if you like no, see, this is why I do it. He doesn't like to join in the conversation. <laughs> um, we spent the day at the beach yesterday. That's what I was saying. What did we do at the beach yesterday? Bye. <laughs> Not interested. Um, it was 30, 30 degrees, so it was actually really nice and sunny and warm. So we chilled out for Thursday bones. <laughs> Some baking, supping, etc. And today it's all about finding a new campground and um, figuring out what we're going to do in the rain. So time to move on. Thanks, Robe. You're a gorgeous little town. This is the other part of the campground. I was trying to explain to you before. So we've just come from back there, clearly. And this is the way out. 